Welcome friends and face yogi. Today we're going to talk about a very important face yoga exercise. It's called the long big O. The long big O is a very popular face yoga exercise and with good reason. The long big O is the, at the foundation of a lot of other face yoga exercises. So if you learn to do the long big O correctly, you'll make all the other cheek exercises way more effective and really be able to see this lifting from the upper lip and to the nasal labial fold, lifting this area up, so plumping up both the mouth muscle and the cheek muscles and lifting the cheeks up and away from your mouth. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified on future face yoga videos. If you know face yoga, you probably already know this uh, posture, but chances are that you may not be doing it fully correctly or you're not getting the full benefit of the pose. If you have weak cheek muscles running upwards towards your cheekbone, then your cheek will start to sag and you'll get the nasal labial lines and everything will start to deflate and sink downwards. So it's really important if we want to keep the triangle of youth, the um, defined and high cheekbone that we learn to do the long big O and any other face yoga exercises that has the long big O as a foundation that we learn to do it in the right way. When we do the long big O in my way, you will grab the lips over your teeth to add resistance to the cheek muscles. That is extremely important if you really want to give your cheek muscles a proper workout. So I'll show you how it goes. I'll break it down for you. First, inhale, exhale, drop the jaw as far as you can down. Make a long and narrow O with your mouth and hold your chin. Then you're going to tightly pull your lips over your teeth and hold them like that, still keeping the narrowness of the O as good as you can, and then starting to lift your cheek muscles up. So that means you will try to smile, or it'll feel like you're trying to smile, but keeping the mouth in place. Let's do it. You really want to allow the movement to start at the corners of the mouth and then extending upwards until you feel the area below your cheekbone. Your upper cheek has a lot of different muscles, so you really want to feel into every area of your cheeks. Maybe you'll have a difficult time feeling into the muscles in the beginning and really feel like you're isolating and lifting up your cheek. We have a lot of atrophy in our facial muscles and our muscle or our facial expressions and movement are for the most part subconscious. So it takes a little bit of training, effort and um, awareness to really start to isolate and fill into the muscles. But let's do it again. First, inhale, exhale, drop the jaw, long and narrow O, pulling the lips tightly over the teeth. Then lifting your cheeks up, starting at the lower part of the cheek to the corner of the mouth and extending up towards the cheekbone. You can always place the other hand on your forehead if you feel like you are wrinkling and um, straining your forehead. And then try to lift your face slightly up towards the sky or ceiling to further drop your jaw down, pull your lips tightly over your teeth and lift your cheeks up even more. Then 
this exercise really plumps up your upper lip when you do it correctly you'll feel extremely exhausted and tired in your mouth muscle the upper part of your mouth muscle and you'll really be able to feel the tightness and the connection on from your cheek muscles onto your cheekbone if you want a real effective cheek workout check out my high intensity face yoga workout for the cheeks until next time face yogis enjoy your face until next time fake fake yogis <laughs>